God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Lulukoya. God bless you in Jesus' name. We are looking at what I call Single Parents Spiritual Clinic. Single Parents Spiritual Clinic. Father, we thank you because of your mighty hand. Let your hand be upon the listeners and lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Does scripture have anything to say about single parents? The answer is yes. Now let's look at two scriptures and pick up our lessons from there. In Genesis chapter 21, from verse 14 to 18, And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Agar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away and she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle and she cast the child under one of the shops. And she went and sat her down over against him the good wolf, as it were a bow shot, for she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the Lord, and the angel of God called to Agar out of heaven, and said unto her, What aileth thee, Agar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the Lord where he is. Arise, lift up the Lord, and hold him in the hand, for I will make him a great nation. Here was a woman sent off into the wilderness, pushed out by the boy's father. She's alone. She's terrified. She was waiting for her son to die when the supply ran out. She had no person to turn to. Ega is a model representing single mothers everywhere. Our story displays both the problem and the solution in God's program for single mothers. God loves single mothers. This woman in our world who have been abused, misused, forgotten or forsaken. They may be forgotten by the world, but not by God. That's why I'm decreeing upon your life. Any single parent, listen to me, that your book of remembrance shall be opened in the name of Jesus. The Lord will silence your silencers in the name of Jesus. The Lord will embarrass those assigned to embarrass you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God of Elias, the Lord God of Elijah shall set to you and sort you out in the name of Jesus. The Lord God of Elijah shall set to you and sort you out in the name of Jesus. The God that visited Agar with signs and wonders shall visit you in the mighty name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, amen. In 1 Kings chapter 17, we read about another single mother. 1 Kings chapter 17, from verse 7 to 17 and verse 24. And it came to pass after a while that the book dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, guide thee to Sarephite, which belong to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Sarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as he was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but an armful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise, and behold, I am gathering two sticks. I tell me, go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meat shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she and he and her also did it many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke to Elijah. And it came to pass after these things, that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick, and the sickness was so sore, that there was no breath left in him. Verse 24. And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of God, and that the word of God in thy mouth is truth. Another single mother, who went through a lot, I was farming in the land, she was almost dying of hunger, no husband to provide for her, but the God of Elijah visited her. So shall the God of Elijah visit you in the name of Jesus. In Luke chapter 4 from verse 25 to 30, 
we have more information about this widow. But I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Elijah sent, save unto Sarephah, a city of Zidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Eli, Elijah the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, save Neman the Syrian. And all day in the synagogue, when they had these things, were filled with wrath. And rose up and thrust them out of the city and led them into the brow of the hill whereon the city was built that they might cast him down headlong. But he passing through the midst of them went his way. We read more information about this widow in that passage. The bottom line is that God cares for single parents. Nine over ten of lone parents are women. Again, the ancient battle of the devil against women is coming to the forefront. Being mother, father, and breadwinner all at the same time is not easy. What are the different categories of single parents? Number one, death of spouse. Number two, divorce. Number three, separation. Number four, desertion or abandonment. Number five, denied paternity. Number six, rape. Number seven, imprisonment. Number eight, restitution from polygamous or wrong, wish, wrong marriage. Number nine, adoption. Number ten, addiction. Pastor that are addicted to drugs. 11 those who never find the right person 12 those who are independent they don't wish to be controlled 13 those who have alpha complex they feel better than everyone else 14 career persons 15 born loner 16 perfectionists 17 those who suffer from dating freak people just come to them they are not interested in long relationship and they break off by 18 is when somebody is spoiled spoiled by the parents so they do not wish to suffer under anybody. What problems do single parents have? The problem of bitterness, unforgiveness, financial challenges, that is surviving on one income instead of two, trauma of violent divorce or separation, anti-opposite sex syndromes, you, don't, you no longer wish to associate with opposite sex, rough relationships with the other parents, challenge of joint custody of children, mental disturbances, psychological problems, power struggles, death trauma, fear of the future, tormenting anxiety, prayerlessness, loneliness, trying to be two parents, overwork, children management. Children from single parents are at risk of the following things. They have low level of educational achievement most time. They are twice as likely to drop out of school. They, are, they themselves are more likely to become teen parents. They have more conflicts with their parents. They are less supervised by adults. They are most likely to become trans. They are more frequently involved in abuse of drugs and alcohol. They suffer more high risk sexual behavior. More likely to join the gang. Twice as likely to go to jail. Most likely to have problems of emotional and behavioral problems. Most likely to participate in violent crimes. Most likely to commit suicide. Twice as likely to get divorced in adulthood exhaustion, nursing injury from physical, verbal or spiritual abuse, hardship, shortage of quality time with children, spiritual or physical attacks from other partners, wife or husband, stigma problems, violence, health problems, guilt, that is, you, make, you, you, are doing, you, are, you know that you are responsible for the children's predicament, stress, choked for time, I'm therefore inviting you to the single parents clinic. What is the way of survival? The way of comfort in these matters. One, you must surrender your life to Jesus. Two, you must repent from all known sin. Three, you must forgive all your offenders. Four, all forms of bitterness must go. Five, be strong in the Lord. Six, possess strong faith after the order of the widow of Sarifat. Seven, never give up. God can see make a way where there is no way. Eight, Pray for divine intervention in your situation. Pray for divine intervention in your situation. And then understand this. Unforgiveness must go. Unforgiveness is like spiritual poison. When you hold bitterness against someone for any reason, you are the one who feels the pain, not them. Holding unforgiveness is like drinking rat poison and hoping that the rat will die. Or else you are the one that drank the poison. Unforgiveness is a tool of the enemy, giving advantage only to the enemy. Bitterness too is dangerous drug in any dosage. Bitterness arises in our hearts 
when we do not trust in the sovereign rule of God in our lives. As we pour out our bitterness, God pours in his peace. Anger and bitterness are signs of being focused on self and not trusting God completely. A bitter spirit will keep you from being a better person. Not forgiving destroys you and forgiveness sets you free. Revenge not only lowers you to your enemy's lowest level, but is worse, it boomerangs. Incubated hatred can elevate blood pressure. When you do not forgive, you allow your enemies to live rent free in your head. Evict them today. Bitterness is like cancer. It eats up upon the host. There is no foolishness like being bitter. I pray that the Lord will arise and help all the single parents. The hand of God will arise upon you and your life shall be a testimony to the glory of Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? My Father, I am available. Have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. My Father, I am available. Have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. My Father, I am available. Have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. My Father, I am available. Have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise and make me a mysterious wonder. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and make me a mysterious wonder. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and make me a mysterious wonder. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, oh God, arise and bless me to a dumbfounded degree. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and bless me to a dumbfounded degree. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and bless me to a dumbfounded degree. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise and help me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and help me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and help me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Are you on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter? Simply connect with the General Overseer, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, on Facebook at Dr. Olukoya and on Instagram with the handle at official underscore D.K. Olukoya and on Twitter with the handle at real underscore D.K. Olukoya. And be a part of the Social Connect family that is enabled with daily inspiration, motivation, sermons, prophetic words, and prayers. Come follow, like, and connect, and you will be glad you did. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is